I'm national correspondent Kayla Gaskins in Washington. They're small enough to fit on a truck, but powerful enough to run an entire town. Nuclear micro reactors are drawing growing attention as a possible solution for clean, reliable energy. But major hurdles remain before they show up in local communities. When many people think of nuclear power, they picture massive plants spanning hundreds of acres. But a new generation of technology could shrink that footprint dramatically. Nuclear microreactors are the smallest type of nuclear reactor, producing less than 20 megawatts of power. Small enough to ship by truck, but strong enough to supply a data center, a college campus, or a small town. Like replacing a remote diesel generator in an Alaskan village or at a remote mine site. The administration is supporting all of these efforts. The U.S. Army is now moving closer to making these a reality. As part of its Janus program, the Army has identified nine installations under consideration to host microreactor power plants, including Fort Bragg, Fort Hood, and Fort Drum. Army leaders say on-site nuclear power would help protect bases from grid failures and from cyber or physical attacks on civilian energy infrastructure. I want to thank President Trump for making a nuclear renaissance possible. The administration says it's pushing for a broad range of next generation nuclear technologies. Ultimately, we'll demo probably 10 different reactor designs in the next 24 months. Very exciting times. I think we'll see shovels in the ground building small modular reactors. Unlike traditional nuclear plants that take years to build, micro reactors are designed to be factory built and deployed quickly. But that speed comes with a catch. Companies need major upfront investment to build factories, while potential customers want to see the technology proven before placing orders. And after decades of public mistrust around nuclear power, community acceptance may be the biggest hurdle for this new technology when it's ready for community use. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.